today i'm going to show you guys exactly how you can get between 120 and 210 legendary commander sculptures every single month in rise of kingdoms because lately it feels like there's always a brand new legendary commander that is just around the corner and a lot of you guys have been asking me how can you get more legendary commander sculptures so in this video we're going to go over 29 different events in rise of kingdoms as well as a couple of ways at the end of the video where you can actually purchase legendary commander sculptures and this video literally took me hours of research because a lot of these events have actually changed over the years so getting you guys the most up-to-date and accurate information that i can wasn't as easy as you might think so drop a thumbs up on this video if you appreciate all the effort because it does help this video get out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it with all that out of the way what's going on guys cheers i broke out the owl mug for some hot chocolate today because i am a grown man and it's a little bit cold outside so here, here we are anyway the first place we have to start is the vip system okay this is the most obvious place where you're going to get a consistent stream of legendary commander sculptures for your account and if you remember from the beginning of this video i said i'm going to tell you how to get between 120 and 210 sculptures per month well if you get three sculptures per day from your VIP chests, and there's about 30 days in one month, that means 90 of those sculptures on any given month are going to come from this chest. That is a large majority of these sculptures. Now, great news. If you don't get three per day, we're still going to cover a bunch of events in the game where you can get literally hundreds of legendary commander sculptures. But I just want to emphasize this at the front of the video. This is so important. You have to eventually get the three sculptures per day here. I know if you're free to play, that's going to take a long time and you're going to have to get into a really powerful and active alliance to get those VIP points. But even if you don't get three per day, there is a chance that you could be getting two per day, right? If you're VIP at least 12, or if you're VIP 10, you can get at least one sculpture per day. And again, getting here as fast as possible. I cannot stress this enough. Very, very important. Okay. The next event that I want to talk about is a relatively new event, and that is the Alliance mobilization event. This event came out a couple of months ago. And as far as I can tell, this event comes around probably every 28 days, approximately once per month. It seems, I don't know if that's dependent on your rank or what the case might be there. They could also change that as well moving forward. But as far as the last two months, it seems like we've gotten this once per month. And if you come through the rewards that I got from this month myself, I got six legendary commander sculptures. And as you can see here, there are more ways that you can get legendary commander sculptures if you are in a higher ranking alliance in the league. So I got six. You can get up to, it looks like 15 here. If you do choose the legendary commander for every single time that you can choose it amongst the different rewards. And sometimes it might be better to get the fragments depending on what you need for your account. But it's worth mentioning in this video because this is a source of legendary commander sculptures. Now, the downside here is that they're not universal. You do have to pick a commander that you own. So you can't use this as a way to unlock commanders. And of course it's not as good as universals because you can't save them for upcoming commanders, but with there being so many commanders in the game these days, I suspect that there's probably at least one commander that you're still working on. If you're not, then that means that you're probably a spender and you've been playing for years because even high spenders who have joined maybe two years ago probably are still working on at least something. So there's a good chance that this is a good place for you to get sculptures every single month. Now, I love the rewards from this event, but I don't love this event itself. It seems like, you know, if you're not going to train troops or buy bundles, then you are going to have to do a lot of farming, a lot of barb killing and a lot of barb fort hunting. And that makes this event extremely grindy. And really it's not fun. Like it's, I'm just going to say it. it's not fun, but this is a way that you can get some good rewards for grinding a little bit. The next event we have to talk about is Ark of Osiris. Now this is actually one of the oldest events in rise of kingdoms, and it's still one of the most popular. It's still one of the most fun, and it's still one of the best ways to get legendary commander sculptures. This is a consistent tried and true way of guaranteeing almost legendary commander sculptures every single month. Now Ark of Osiris obviously comes around every other week. So this isn't as frequent as some other events we're going to talk about in this 
this video some of them come around every week so make sure you stay tuned for that but if you are in a golden battlefield alliance which if you're not then you should focus on getting there because if you're not then that means your alliance isn't probably making a lot of purchases towards your VIP which we already talked about in the video but you want to be in a golden alliance battlefield and if you win and you get 10,000 score you get 10 sculptures if you do that twice per month that's 20 sculptures per month if you get the 10,000 points but you lose then you get only five sculptures so that would be 10 sculptures per month so on the high end it's 20 on the low end it's 10 but the point is you should try to do this event every single time that it comes around and even if you're in a silver battlefield you do still get some amount of sculptures for winning and for losing so that's honestly not horrible next up is the Karak ceremony now if you're able to do this event every time that it comes around and you can complete it on the highest difficulty which may mean that you have to rally the final few bosses if you are a lower power player you definitely want to do it regardless because at the very least you'll get 12 legendary commander sculptures for completing level 50 you also get a single legendary commander sculpture for actually beating the final boss and then also there is an alliance portion of this event which has rng baked into it but you can get your hands on maybe one or two legendary commander sculptures from the alliance portion of this event as well but at the bare minimum you should be getting at least 13 legendary commander sculptures from this event and from what i've seen it seems like karak ceremony comes around once per month I don't know if that timing fluctuates it might change but it seems like and again i don't keep track of these things so let me just say this as a disclaimer i actually couldn't find a good event calendar for rise of kingdoms i know that there are some kingdoms that keep track of things like more than gems event right and that's really helpful but it doesn't a lot of kingdoms don't actually keep track of like actual events like this and how often they come around so i think karak ceremony comes around once a month if i'm wrong about that you can correct me down below and perhaps we can use this video's comment section as a way to compile the most accurate and up-to-date information for all these events because some of you might have really good information collected and you can share with the rest of us and that will help a lot next up we have to talk about the infamous 7k gem event now this is tied to holiday events and this is one variation of a couple of different holiday events that have come around in rise of kingdoms this event used to alternate back and forth between this and an alliance based event it seems like they've thrown in a third one with the esmeralda's prayer wheel which we'll talk about that later Later. so this event seems to be a little bit more rare than it used to be just a couple of years ago but regardless when this event does come around and I would say we probably see this event on the low end probably four times per year you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you think it's more or less frequent than that at least recently because again from my perspective I've been playing the game for years it used to be more than that but I don't know what it actually is right now but let's say it's about four times per year okay we get like probably about 10 holiday events every year right I have a couple listed off here we have the New Year's event Valentine's Day Easter the summer event there's typically just a summer event the anniversary event for rise of kingdoms which happens once a year obviously we have Halloween Thanksgiving Christmas and then I also feel like there's like an autumn event that they throw in there I can't remember exactly or like an end of summer event so there's usually like maybe eight to ten holiday events every single year I could be missing a couple of big ones there so you can let me know in the comment section below like Chinese New Year I think is thrown in there it might be tied to one of those events as well so regardless I would say the 7k gem event comes around a couple times per year okay and for 7,000 gems you get 35 legendary commander sculptures if you can complete level 25 so you get 15 here okay you also get 10 here so that's 25 right there and then you get five and five at different tiers as you scroll up you can see obviously this was from back in September I guess this would have been like the autumn event I, I don't know let's say we get this event four times a year okay and 35 sculptures four times a year that's 140 legendary commander sculptures every single year which averages out to about 11 sculptures per month so again some months you're not going to get those at all and then other months you'll get 35 so it's kind of an average as we're speaking in this video because every month is going to be a little bit different next let's talk about the alliance based holiday events that we typically see when we don't see the 7k gems event or Esmeralda's prayer and this is a less popular event mainly 
because it's a lot harder for free to play players to actually get the maximum number of gold heads from this event typically there is a relatively easy to obtain resource that you get from grinding barbarians and also i think you get it from gathering as well at resource nodes and possibly even collecting from your city but then there's also a more premium reward here in the form in this event it is like the turkey leg i guess okay and you can either buy it with gems or you can typically get i think two per day for logging in so i think you get like eight of them for free or ten of them for free or something like that and you need probably 20 of these to exchange for a legendary commander sculpture you can get usually up to 30 legendary commander sculptures from this event but again unless you're spending a ton of gems you're probably not going to get there now if this is still a pretty good exchange rate for legendary commander sculptures because that is a thousand gems and assuming that you get the rest of this stuff for free from grinding barbs you're basically paying a thousand gems per legendary commander sculpture which if you look in the vip shop they typically charge you two thousand gems for each legendary commander sculpture so this is still technically a discount but also that's still a lot of gems for a free to play player i mean thirty thousand gems like that's probably not the best place that you should be spending your gems if you're free to play so that's why this event typically isn't that popular for the free to play players but it's still worth mentioning here because you still will probably get some amount of legendary commander sculptures here if you have some extra gems to spend speaking of spending gems we have to talk about the more than gems event because as a new player in the game this event has a lot of value to you and typically the value for this event does go down a little bit over time but this is a two day event where the rewards reset each day so you have a chance at getting a total of 13 legendary commander sculptures per day for a grand total of 26 legendary commander sculptures at the cost of 50,000 gems which is very very expensive but the good news is that in the early game there are things that you have to buy anyway like your master's blueprints or if you're kind of lazy like me and you don't want to grind the barbarian forts you can purchase books of the covenant for your actual gems and you also if you want to can use this as an opportunity to spend your gems on your VIP system which we talked about at the beginning of this video so if you're thinking of pushing your VIP to that next level I would wait until there's a more than gems event and you're going to get some really nice rewards as a way of doing that now the other thing you could do is spend 7,000 gems on one day and then 7,000 gems the second day and you'll get 10 sculptures for 14,000 gems and that is a little bit better value in my book than 26 for 50k and there's probably 7,000 gems worth of things that you can find that you would have likely purchased anyway whether it's VIP or whether it's you know materials from the VIP shop or even sculptures from the VIP shop which typically I don't recommend but you could do that if you needed them so this is definitely an event that you have to at least consider even as a free-to-play player now I'm not saying spend 50,000 gems here every time that comes around but there's probably going to be some times where you're going to want to spend a couple of gems during this event whether you're buying the 50 50% expansions for fighting in the open fields or getting the 10% defense tokens from the VIP shop. There's always something that you could spend a couple of gems on and you should wait until this event comes around to do so. Okay. The next way that you're going to get a couple of legendary commander sculptures for free is actually in the expedition. Now this can only, there's two components in this. Okay. One of the components can only ever be done once per account. The other way is a way of farming some legendary commander sculptures very very slowly now if you take a look in your expedition level five gets you some constant sculptures but level 10 gets you a legendary commander sculpture the first time that you beat it okay so this is a one-time thing but if you look at number 15 you get a legendary commander sculpture at 20 you get a legendary commander sculpture 25 30 35 and so on and so forth so every five levels that you complete you will get a legendary commander sculpture all the way up until 80. that means you'll probably get i think 15 legendary commander sculptures just by completing the expedition but that's not where it ends because there's also as you can see over here some garrison and rally events and when you complete these you get first of all sculptures of ethel flood which 
technically is a legendary commander sculpture but i'm sure many of you watching have her expertise already if you haven't then that's great news because you definitely want to expertise her she is going to be somewhat useful as a secondary commander and especially for pve content as well but you also get the treasure of the warrior queen now as you defeat these events right you'll see that there's a couple of different instances of this and you'll get them as a first completion reward but you'll also get some amount of them every single day by logging in and you're also going to get some of these metal of the conqueror every single day from logging in which you can then use to exchange for legendary commander sculptures in the metal store now the legendary commanders that show up on the bottom here are only the gold key commanders so it's not like you're going to get the latest and greatest thing but there will occasionally be ways that you can get some free legendary commander sculptures by exchanging your medals in the shop i always recommend keeping a couple of thousand of these laying around just just in case you get lucky and one pops up or you can spend most of them on ethel fled as well but the other thing about the treasure of the warrior queen is they actually have a chance you can see it right here they have a chance at giving you a legendary commander sculpture now i'm gonna say that the probability of getting a legendary commander sculpture from one of these is probably like one in 300 like it's really low it might be less than that it might be one in 200 but it's really low okay you're gonna get maybe one or two legendary commander sculptures per year from the completely finished expedition and collecting them every single day another way that you can get some legendary commander sculptures for free is in the lucerne scrolls now this is not that exciting but it is technically a way to get some legendary commander sculptures and that is through the commander re-release chests now these chests change their troop type for each lucerne scroll so right now it is a pre-season of conquest archer commander chest but there's also a i think uh the previous one i believe was cavalry if i'm not mistaken you only get three of them for free every single lucerne scrolls lucerne scrolls i think lasts for like 40 or 43 days something like that so it's a little bit less than one time per month but if you're just completing the free track up here then you're going to get some amount of these for free now again not that exciting but it's at least worth mentioning in this video because the pre-season of conquest commanders have a little bit less value since these came into the game because you can get them for free so like you might as well not waste your universals on them and that's commanders like tamiris commanders like edward of woodstock which probably shouldn't invest in them anyway but you know if we're talking about like Saladin versus Genghis Khan for example or like if you're thinking about getting Constantina 5511 for your Canyon lineup you know these chests uh, will help you get there a little bit faster for free next up we're going to talk about the War of the Ruins event now this event actually comes around probably only like two or three times a year maybe four it's really rare we don't see this event that often but that's okay uh the rewards for this aren't that good but they are legendary commander sculptures so this is definitely a way that you can count on to get some legendary commander sculptures for free it usually lasts about five days or so now the last time that I played this I don't know if I actually played it enough to collect the rewards and because it comes around so infrequently I couldn't find like perfectly up-to-date information about the rewards from this but i think you only get a maximum of two legendary commander sculptures every time that this comes around so if it comes around twice a year that's four sculptures per year it's not that much but it's definitely an event to keep your eyes out for now if you guys don't know what this event is like if you're wondering omni or what even is this this is the event where you spawn in with 10,000 troops and every time that you defeat an enemy you absorb their amount of troops and fully heal okay and it's basically a battle royale the last man standing is the one that wins if you guys have never seen it then you know you will eventually it does come around but yeah it's not super popular and really it's kind of rigged because March speed is like the most valuable stat in this so you you know you can kind of uh cheese your way into getting the victory which is kind of a good thing because that means you know free legendary commander sculptures but anyway keep your eyes out for this event it is a couple of free sculptures every time that it does come around next we have to talk about the champions of olympia game mode which comes around every weekend i think it's saturday and sunday is when this event comes around so you're going to get this event four times per month now this is basically if you guys aren't familiar it is the 5v5 game mode there's i think three different maps at the time of recording this video and it's kind of like a moba style capture a checkpoint type of game mode where you get points over time depending on how many objectives you actually 
actually hold and for how long you hold them but the point of talking about it in this video is the rewards and what are the rewards for champions of Olympia well it depends on how many victory points that you get and I believe you get two legendary commander sculptures every time that this event comes around and if it comes around four times per month that means you get eight legendary commander sculptures per month from champions of Olympia alone which means as much as maybe some of you don't love this event you should definitely be doing it because that's 96 sculptures a year that you're leaving on the table if you're not doing it so keep that in mind it adds up over time now there's also the Olympia League in rise of kingdoms and I actually don't remember how often this comes around so hopefully somebody in the comment section below can let me know the most recent time that we got this was when the Greek civilization was released it was around for about two months and there is a ranked mode for the Olympia League and I believe you get six legendary commander sculptures if you go all the way up to 54 victory points this event comes around at least once a year it might be every six months but I again I don't know you can let me know in the comments section below but it is six legendary commander sculptures that you can get for free every time that it comes around so make sure you're paying attention to that speaking of rare events we have to talk about the tempest clash event this is obviously as you can see by the picture the game mode where you command your little boat around the field and there's three different boat types basically archers cavalry and infantry and you just try to win the events i think this only comes around up two times a year maybe three or four this is another one of those events that you know just like the war of the ruins it's pretty rare and i think correct me if i'm wrong i actually don't like this event so i don't play it when it does come around but i think you get two legendary commander sculptures when you actually get enough wins in this event when it comes around so if it comes around twice a year that's four sculptures per year again not that much but just keep it on your radar because you know lilith could always change this right they could bump up the rewards for events that they feel like players aren't playing that much so anytime that tempest clash comes around check the rewards and see if it's worth it another event that comes around pretty rarely i would say pretty probably only two to four times per year is the arms training lohar event we got this event once again over the summer this past summer and this is a bit of a weird one because you actually have to rank on a leaderboard and your placement on that leaderboard will determine how many legendary commander sculptures that you can get from this event i think the first place reward and again correct me if i'm wrong i think it's 20 legendary commander sculptures and the other thing too is that you will probably need decent commanders in order to perform really well here at least decent gear and things like that obviously the better your gear and the better your commanders are then the higher you're going to place and therefore it is a little bit harder for the free-to-play players to to get the w here but the other thing is there are ways that you can kind of cheese this where you can have a few different armies that are buffing your main march and also you can control which skills that you choose for arms training lohar and some of the whales might just not want to put in the time to get those 20 sculptures because they might not really need them that bad right it, it does take quite a bit of time if you want to do this the right way and um that means that if you're a free-to-play player there's a good chance that you could get a couple of sculptures from these rankings when this does come around so definitely keep your eyes peeled and do this if you can next we have the protect the supplies event now this is another again very rare event I think we only see it a couple of times per year maybe twice a year maybe a little bit more and it's typically tied to a holiday event and this is kind of like Silk Road but it's for just the individual you have to protect supplies as they go across the map as the name suggests over here okay and the thing about this event is that there are some rewards just for completing the event and typically as you can see here there are some objects that you get that are part of the holiday event so you can exchange those usually for legendary commander sculptures which is nice but there are no just legendary commander sculptures at least from what I remember built into the completion of the event even at the highest difficulty but there is a leaderboard and the leaderboard actually does give you some amount of legendary commander sculptures for being in first place now this is rank one gets 20 legendary commander sculptures now the thing about this event is and I haven't done this in a while but I'm pretty sure that there is a maximum number of points that you can get and I think this event will give first place to whoever has obviously the highest points but if you get the max points then whoever does it first is the one that actually gets the 20 sculptures so there is an importance to being fast 
with this event you want to complete it as soon as you possibly can as soon as it arrives in your kingdom and also 2000 gems that's kind of good that's kind of good that's kind of a good number of gems so the rank one spot is great of course if you can get into the top 10 you'll get eight legendary commander sculptures so it's still worth trying and competing for the top 10 spots next up is the desert tracks event and i yes i am showing a chiskel gaming thumbnail here it was one of the first things that came up when i looked up this event and the reason that i had to look it up is because this event has only ever happened i think twice ever and i'm pretty sure it comes around with the anniversary event for rise of kingdoms i know 100 that it did come for this previous anniversary event i think the year before that it did as well but the reason that i'm mentioning it in this video is because there are ways that you can get legendary commanders from this event you do have to choose the legendary commander so it's not universal legendary commander sculptures but again like i mentioned earlier in the video there is a good chance that there is probably some commander that you are trying to work on when this event does inevitably come around and it's probably only going to happen once a year anyway but this event does give you some number of the dice for free i believe and then there's also um each dice i believe was 200 gems and you could buy either 10 or 20 of them at that discounted rate then they went up to i think a thousand gems for each dice roll and at the discounted rate i would say you probably got some pretty good value out of this i remember actually spending during this event so i don't remember how many i got just for free or with the discounted dice but uh this is a way that you can get some legendary commander sculptures for free once a year and it's worth mentioning in this video because the value was pretty good next is the now or never event and this is an event that comes around probably once a month maybe it's a little bit less frequent than that i'm not sure 100 but you get some amount of rewards for using speed ups but also you could see over here that there is a rank reward and that means that if you come in first place you get 20 legendary commander sculptures now if I'm being honest with you there's probably going to be some mid or high spender that is going to attempt to push this event and get all the rewards for themselves so it's unlikely as a free-to-play player that you're going to get 20 sculptures from this every time it comes around but I think if you get into like the top 20 or top 50 you get one or two legendary commander sculptures so if you do that every time that this event comes around that's going to be a nice little nice little pocket changes worth of legendary commander sculptures so if there aren't a lot of people actually competing like let's say one whale obviously takes first place and a smaller whale obviously takes second place well most people aren't going to compete in the event after that because the rewards fall off very quickly and that means that the total points for those third place and below could be pretty low and if that's the case you might be able to snag yourself a couple of legendary commander sculptures for a very small amount of speed ups so keep that in mind now the other thing to mention here is that there's also an event called game of power there's also an event called lord of war and these are all very similar events that are slightly different some of them have to do with using building and training speed ups others have to do with just using training speed ups uh, they're all very very similar events so i'm going to bundle them all up here in this portion of the video under the now or never events but all of them to my recollection give you 20 legendary commander sculptures for a rank one placing so keep that in mind keep your eyes out for these because they're probably more common than you think okay now let's talk about esmeralda's prayer now this is an event that i've actually mentioned a couple of times in this video already but this is one of the newer sort of uh, holiday events that have come around recently and there's a couple of things that you can get here obviously like a city skin um i don't love this event because it is after all a wheel which means it is literally a, a sort of a gamble right you, you can't guarantee that you get what you want you do get some of these tokens if i recall correctly for free whether it's from completing like the puzzle events or like the protect your supplies events something like that there's usually some event that corresponds to this that gives you some coins for free and also i think you can get some of them from a reduced for a reduced rate as well this event probably comes around a couple of times per year in place of the 7k gem event and in place of the alliance holiday event as well and as you can see here there's a maximum of 35 legendary commander sculptures that you could get if you get lucky enough to actually get them okay and that's the downside for me is that i feel like i get really unlucky during this event um this event has been coming around for over a year now and every time that it does i feel really unlucky i don't know it feels less lucky than the wheel of fortune which is <laughs> 
that's saying a lot okay that's just my experience i don't know what it's like for you guys but there's also i think um this might be an outdated screenshot but i think that there are some spin rewards as well and i don't remember exactly if there's legendary commander sculptures in there or if it's things like a, a city decoration and things like that i don't remember exactly i think again this screenshot i think is a little bit old i think they've changed it slightly since then next let's talk about osiris league and all the events that are kind of adjacent to that event now Osiris League I'm pretty sure it comes around once a year don't hate me if that's wrong I don't follow Osiris League as much as probably most content creators do but this event has a couple of different ways that you can get some legendary commander sculptures primarily through betting okay there's two events that you can use here to bet there is the eye for talent and then there is the league bets now the eye for talent is a really good event at predicting who's going to win the entire thing and the earlier on that you can place those bets the higher the multiplier for that gamble and if it pays off you're going to get a ton of these v tokens i don't know exactly what they're called and you can redeem them for some number of legendary commander sculptures i don't remember if it's two or five it's not that many but there are some legendary commander sculptures involved with eye for talent if i'm remembering correctly there's also as you can see here the league bets and this is well it looks very similar to this and we're going to talk about the grand prix here in a second but you basically can use your osiris league coins to bet and if you do place good bets then you can exchange them for some number of legendary commander sculptures i think the maximum here is again five so every time the osiris league comes around you probably can get five or ten legendary commander sculptures pretty easily every single time as long as you're grinding for these tokens so always make sure that you're active and while we're here I guess we'll talk about the Grand Prix as well um, the Grand Prix is very similar to the Osiris League but I think this is the global server so this is like all of rise of kingdoms okay not just the osiris league and this functions basically identical to the osiris league okay uh, you place bets you can get some number of legendary commander sculptures here which is nice and it's free okay as you can see here i always bet on basically the uh losing side and it's pretty much a gamble but um you know if you do that for enough of them eventually there's going to be an upset and the payout can be massive but just keep in mind what the prize pool is okay look down here the prize pool for this one is very low it's not worth betting on mix because even if there's an upset you're not going to get that many tokens so you're better off betting on one of the other ones that have massive prize pools free easy probably a good way to get five uh legendary commander sculptures next let's talk about an event that comes around a lot more frequently than some of the events we've been talking about and that is silk road now this event comes around as far as i know once per month okay it's similar to the karak ceremony which we talked about earlier in the video but you get three chances to do this it is an alliance based event so you want to make sure that you're paying attention to when this event actually occurs and you can see here that you get two legendary commander sculptures every single time that you complete it assuming that the delivery rewards are above i think it's 90 or 95 percent here so it's a pretty good chance that you can do it if everyone in your alliance is active and is participating and if you can do it three times well three times two that's six so that's six legendary commander sculptures every single month uh and also there is some rank rewards here which none of them are legendary unfortunately so that doesn't really matter too much next up is kvk ladies and gentlemen i'm sure you guys have been waiting for this one uh this is actually interesting obviously the depending on the kvk that you're in the rewards have changed uh, quite a bit over time over the past couple of years i'm pretty sure if i did the math correctly you can get over 100 legendary commander sculptures from a single kvk but that is only if your alliance and your coalition and your camp have the maximum rewards and you the individual also have the maximum rewards and you also come in first place for your honor which i mean that's like i mean that's that's really hard okay let's just be real that's pretty hard um you can get some legendary commander sculptures for just being well really in the top 1000 but um you're gonna get substantial amounts of legendary commander sculptures i would say top 10 you get 10 that's nice top three you get 15 you know so it's something to consider but like is it really worth it like first place you have to grind for like over a month i don't know that's <laughs> that's a lot for 40 heads it's something you can consider if you have the ap to do it and you have the time to try 
but there's also some rewards that you get for the honor points for your coalition and there's no sculptures for your camp unfortunately but also there are some legendary commander sculptures that you can get as conquest rewards which is really nice especially if you control the great zig and have over six million kills and of course there are some legendary commander sculptures in the individual rewards as well so 100,000 honor 20 million kills with 85k honor there's also 30 million kills gets you three legendary commander sculptures and i think think that we've got a couple of more over here 400 bastion quests with 50k honor here is 600 bastion quests with 10 million severely wounded or kills and what else do we have here for individual rewards i think that that is it for your coalition you also have 3 million coalition honor and 50k individual honor here we have three more sculptures here i'm not going to read all these no sculptures for your camp that is everything there but there's also sculptures in the combat shop the, so there's eight for 50 percent off and then there's 18 at full value so there's 26 sculptures that you can get technically for free here although i would argue that there's other things that you might want to be spending your your season coins on rather than just legendary commander sculptures but if you need them they are there now there's also the autark tavern and i'm pretty sure this is a relatively new event i don't think many players have seen or participated in this event but this is a way that you can get some legendary commander sculptures but it does cost 2500 gems so honestly if you're a free-to-play player probably don't do this but uh it's at least worth mentioning that it exists now so there's that now the other thing that we have to talk about and i'm pretty sure i covered everything here when it comes to sculptures from participating in the actual kvk but you also have to consider the past glory event which obviously kvk just opened for us so i can't show you right now but the past glory event when it does open gives you a way to trade in your green blue and purple commander sculptures for points and i believe that you can exchange for up to 20 legendary commander sculptures for free every time that the past glory event comes around assuming that you enough you have enough sculptures to get enough points there i've never not been able to get the maximum rewards but if you're a newer player then that could be potentially a problem for you so just keep that in mind so between the 20 sculptures that you get from the past glory events and also eight sculptures that you get at half off that's 28 sculptures that's pretty easy to get every kvk and there's also like you'll probably get at least a handful uh, two or three just from like even even if you're barely playing kvk you'll probably get a couple so if you can get let's say 30 legendary commander sculptures every single kvk now you could do like four kvks a year i know some kingdoms have trouble with matchmaking and things like that so you know that number will definitely vary depending on the kingdom that you're in but even if you only do three kvks a year and there's 30 sculptures per kvk that's 90 sculptures per year that averages out to about eight sculptures per month that's again pretty free to get next up is the wheel of fortune and this event is much more frequent than the kvk event obviously this event comes around every two weeks we get a new wheel of fortune and this is a guaranteed way to get legendary commander sculptures and when i say guaranteed i mean as long as you spin to 10 you're getting some legendary commander sculptures now it's also partially chance right like there is a chance that you could get none from the wheel itself so that part kind of stinks but as long as there's a commander on the wheel that you care about then this is a really good place and really good source to get your legendary commander sculptures and again there's a pretty good chance that there's at least one commander on the wheel that you care about now i would argue that every single time this wheel comes around you're probably going to get five legendary commander sculptures as long as you spin a 10 and as long as it's someone that you care about that's pretty consistent and you could get more than that if you get pretty lucky now if this event comes around every two weeks that means there's going to be two wheels every single month and if you guaranteed five sculptures per wheel that's 10 sculptures per month guaranteed it could be more than that uh or i mean i guess it could be less if you don't log in or you skip it or whatever you don't have the gems but i think most people can manage that much of course the mightiest governor event also coincides with the wheel of fortune and this event comes around every two weeks and this event is a little bit harder for you to get sculptures from because you have to compete with other players in your kingdom who might be training a ton of troops now first place gets 180 legendary commander 
commander sculptures and depending on your kingdom it's unlikely that you'll get that now I will say that lots of kingdoms that are organized will actually fix the rankings for the mightiest governor that way players who are tried and true players that are always active players that are very helpful and useful it's guaranteed that those players will get the commanders that the kingdom really needs right some players are garrison captains some players are rally captains and it's beneficial to the kingdom if specific players actually get those and just to make sure that people don't have to bleed all their speed ups down the kingdoms will kind of organize this event it's not perfect but a lot of kingdoms do it our kingdom does it I think it's a great strategy and it's a good way to reward active players especially those that maybe you know some free-to-play players can get their hands on some commanders that they might not have gotten in a kingdom where there's a bunch of whales that are always going to compete every single time so it's at least worth mentioning this even if you're in a kingdom that doesn't fix the rankings you can probably still snag a handful of commanders from this event if if you are paying attention you don't have to be in the top 10 to get these commander sculptures you know you might be able to snag two or five legendary commander sculptures from this event for a relatively cheap amount of speed ups and some grinding of barbs so keep your eyes peeled for an event that players aren't really pushing for next we also have to technically talk about the legendary chest this is something that you're going to get for free every single day you'll get at least one but there's also some events where if you train 2000 troops for example you'll get a key and you can either save those keys for the legendary chest or you can save it for the I think the heart's desire event it comes around during kvk I don't love the heart's desire event because it forces you to pick commanders and there's not always command there's not that many commanders that I really care about with the legendary chest however again you're gonna get it for free regardless so this will apply to you but after 200 openings you are guaranteed 10 sculptures of a legendary commander and this is cool because you can pick commanders that you don't even have okay so if there's a commander here that you haven't recruited yet this is a guaranteed way to get it and this is actually how I got my hands on Nebu which was a last minute decision for my kvk I actually opened like I actually purchased like 30 keys or something in the middle of kvk just to get Nebu and this was a long time ago of course but yeah there's still some value here and also in the shop you can get some legendary commander sculptures for free if you get duplicates of commanders that you have expertise so boom there we go give me my free legendary commander sculpture now of course you also get sculptures from opening the chest itself but that's a little bit more of a gamble so uh yeah the odds aren't great here for some of them but I'm sure you'll get at least one sculpture a month you'll probably get more than that okay I'm being very generous here you'll get at least one a month let's be real so there's still a little bit of value here another place that you can get legendary commander sculptures for free is the golden chest this is like the oldest way in the game to get legendary commander sculptures and it's the least exciting which is why I saved it for near the end of the video but technically you get legendary commander sculptures for free from opening the gold keys now they're not universal and most of them are useless but there are some here that matter like the Moses is good we also have Pyrus we also have Mulan they're great um Charles Martel is still pretty usable and also Cao Cao has some uses not necessarily in PvP but Med is extremely exceptionally good and also you some of these gatherers here you're going to get value out of them because you're just going to be gathering so you know there's some legendary commander sculptures that can be obtained for free every single day let's open these four keys and let's see if we get anything good there's boom and nothing there do we get anything here come on give me something for the video just so I can prove that you can get legendary commander sculptures from this come on what's going on here let's see it and oh let's go okay I actually can't believe that that actually just happened probably the best thing that I could have gotten out of this chest and it was Pyrus so there we go I can even add a skill point to him look at that thank you Pyrus for proving my point that you can get legendary commander sculptures from the gold keys another way that you can get legendary commander sculptures is from the VIP shop now you do have to be a certain VIP level and honestly I unlocked this a very long time ago so I don't know which VIP level you have to be to get this it's probably like VIP 12 14 15 something like that and honestly you know I don't recommend buying these legendary commander sculptures 2000 gems for one sculpture is very high and you'll definitely have realized that if you've watched the rest of this video we've talked about many ways where you can get sculptures either for free or for a thousand gems or something like that so this is extremely expensive but technically you can get these from gems that you farm by like chaining barbs or something like that and that technically makes these free and you can get 20 of them per week now again if you're free to play don't buy these okay maybe you can buy like 
one of them during more than gems maybe but even then you probably should not there's probably better things that you can be buying okay so i'm being very clear here don't buy this as free to play but i just wanted to include it as a technicality maybe you're in kvk and you're two sculptures short of expertising liu che or something and you need it for the fight tomorrow if that's the case there you go 4k gems and you're and you're and you're chilling another event that i wanted to mention here is called the team draw event and this is an event where you buy some number of tickets and you actually open them up with other players and you can see what the other players actually get and you typically have to pick a commander here you could see that in this example i took these screenshots a long time ago but there is a way where you can choose a mightiest governor commander and you can also choose some wheel of fortune commanders here as well this event i think has only come around like two or three times in rise of kingdoms history i think we maybe only get it once a year i believe we got it for christmas last year i also think christmas the year before Four, but also based on this design here it looks like we probably got it at some point during the summer or spring too so I don't know exactly how many times a year we get this it's one or two but it's technically a way that you can get some legendary commander sculptures and I think you get some of these tickets for free but also you can get some of them for gems so it's not exactly like the most free to play friendly events but it is just another event to classify in this video where you can get legendary commander sculptures okay that was all the ways that you can get legendary commander sculptures from even events or from spending gems and technically you can get gems for free if you guys are having trouble getting gems I made a guide very recently where you can get over 2,000 gems per day for free if you're willing to grind like a absolute lunatic so it's very grindy but check out that video if you missed it or if you need help getting gems but now let's talk about a couple of different ways that you can get legendary commander sculptures for purchases and one of the first ways that I'm going to talk about is the bounty of the ancients this purchase reward event comes around every time that you enter into kvk and it lasts for the first 12 days and if you spend 25,000 gems on at any point during those 12 days it all adds up and you'll get all these rewards so for 200 gems you get one legendary commander sculpture for 3400 gems you get two so that's a total of three on uh, at 8000 you get another two so that's a total of five at 12000 you get three so that's a total of eight and then at 25,000, you get none, which is kind of a bummer, but eight legendary commander sculptures for purchases that you may have already been going to make because of KVK. And also sometimes this will overlap with a recharge rewards, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute, but those come around typically for holidays. So if they overlap, that is amazing. Just keep in mind that if you buy pop up bundles, that is bundles that give you gems in the form of items instead of gems in the form of currency then that does not count towards any recharging okay so keep that in mind if you buy pop-up bundles like the five dollar bundle that pops up when you summon a legendary commander that bundle does not count towards this okay it has to be gems that actually are from recharges okay so keep that in mind next let's talk about the commander recharge rewards this event comes around once a month as far as i can tell we got it on october 16th and now we got it again on november 13th so it looks like every 28 days or so this event comes around and if you buy a thousand gems per day for three days you are guaranteed 10 sculptures of one of the daily special offer commanders that you can choose now this is not universals so it's not as good as getting the universals from this for example but this does come around more frequently and it's only a total of three thousand gems so if you buy the daily special offer every single day then you're guaranteed to get it so for 15 dollars, you get 10 legendary commander sculptures plus however many legendary commander sculptures you would normally get from the daily special offer so if there's a commander that you're working on here then this is actually a pretty good deal and just to prove that to you I'm going to use this and we're going to get nine legendary commander sculptures which is amazing which does actually unlock the day three reward but now I can decide do I want to claim it for art amnesia or do I want to get somebody else and what I can find out here is how many sculptures do I need to get her next skill? I only need six. So I'm actually not going to claim it for Artemisia because after 5511, I don't care about her. Any sculptures after that are pretty much a waste for me. But I can claim 
a bounty of the ancients here i got two chests just by spending the five dollars i think i'll claim the sculptures for zhang yu i typically would recommend getting a a mightiest governor commander here but really there's just none that i care too much about so boom i get 10 legendary commander sculptures for a different legendary commander than i bought the daily special value for and a different one that was actually there when i made the purchase and this goes without saying but if you're spending money then the daily special offer is a guaranteed way of getting at least one legendary commander sculpture every single day and one of the golden keys here which you can get sometimes lucky with a legendary commander okay now we've talked about recharge rewards a little bit in this video already but recharge rewards is a great way to get 30 legendary commander sculptures for making purchases across five days you get 10 sculptures on day two 10 sculptures on day four and 10 sculptures on day five for a total of 30 you have to spend 2500 gems or purchase 2500 gems every single day for five days to do that and that means that you'll have to buy you know usually it's about 60 or 70 dollars minimum in order to get the maximum rewards here but they are universal which means you can hoard them and save them for a future commander which is really good and honestly if you're buying things like the daily special offer you can get some legendary commander sculptures there as well so there is some good ways that you can double dip and overlap and get some good value here finally we have to talk about the gem rush event this is sort of like a newer version of the recharge rewards and I don't like it as much I'll explain why in just a second but here is a little bit different you only have to purchase a maximum of 10,000 gems and you get a total of I think it's 40 legendary commander sculptures in total so there's technically 10 more legendary commander sculptures than the recharge rewards and it should theoretically cost you less money to actually complete this and also you can do it all at once instead of waiting the course of five days the reason that i actually prefer the recharge rewards is because universal legendary commander sculptures even though you get 30 instead of 40 and even though it costs a little bit more you can use them on a commander that doesn't exist yet which means they have more value than a commander in the gem rush theoretically because for the gem rush you actually have to choose a commander from a list of already released commanders that you might actually have so that's the downside but the good side is that if there's a commander like let's say Nevsky or Joan of Arc Prime or something like that that's extremely powerful and ages really really well that you don't have finished or maxed or anything like that well then great news you get 40 sculptures of them for less money than the recharge rewards and that's just a win-win and I just looked at my recording software and I've been recording for just over two hours which means I have a lot of editing to do for this video I'm curious to know how long it's going to be probably an hour but if you appreciate all of the time and effort that it took to compile all the information for what I think is an exhaustive list I think this is possibly every possible event in rise of kingdoms that gives you legendary commander sculptures if you appreciate that effort drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and hopefully you found this video useful in getting more legendary commander sculptures and at least to help you plan for upcoming events and now you know that some events come around once a month some events come around a couple times a year to keep your eyes peeled and don't miss out don't get lazy do all the events even if you only get two sculptures if you did find the video useful consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and comment down below if there are any corrections that you have for this video i'm sure i made a few mistakes and also if there's more events that i don't know about that i missed in this video comment them down below i hope there's no like massive obvious one that i'm missing i feel like that would be the, that would be the one i try to avoid all the ones that give you like gathering commander sculptures because that's whatever but you should participate in those as well if they're not maxed out anyway with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace